anybody to refer you if you got a look at a body. It's just that she was awful at bartending. So, so she's the, actually, she's the one that said, I suck at this. I, I, can I please audition to be a stripper? Yeah. And then she started making a lot of money because she started, she started to have her customers were young. Whereas like my customers were old, you know, and I would make, I would call these people and say, Hey, I'm coming. And she would say, Hey, do you want to go out? You know, like th- this guy's hot or, you know, she, she did it more of like a dating scene, you know, <laughs> where, you know, she had customers and they would, they would shower her and they would come in and they would fight for her. I mean, I, I just got off the phone with the D- one of the DJs, Joe knows. And he was basically, he's got some great stories about her. He said that he, she used to hide in the bathroom. They used to hide her in this one bathroom where the, where the DJs used to go in because she would have two boyfriends at one time and she'd have to hide because this one was coming in and they would hide her in there and she wouldn't go up on set. So if we could ever get this guy, Joe knows on, he, he's got stories and he's hilarious, but he's, he's worked there for years. So he's like, he, just let them know. They want some good stories. I got them Been there for years. He's the face of, of look. Come step behind the velvet rope, Joe knows. So wait, so, so she was <laughs> dating like two guys at once and she would say this one's coming in. I don't want to see this one. I'm with the other one. And wow. Right. Right. And she danced on Sundays and Mondays, like the, not the good days, <laughs> not the good days, like days, but yeah. TNT Tuesdays was our like T and the bomb. They would call that TNT Tuesdays. Uh, yeah. She never worked those days, <laughs> you know, but she did her thing two years. So where did she meet Joe Gorga and when, when did he start coming in? I don't know where I believe she met him on vacation, her parents. And then this is why that kid that I was that guy that I was telling you, Mike Crizzo, he always would say, that he was just dating her because her parents would take him away to, I think it was Bahamas or Cancun, one or the other. And they would always go there and they'd pay for his trip. And he was just like one of those guys that, you know, wanted yeah. the girl to pay. So he would always go with her on this trip. And I believe she met him wherever her parents had this house or vacation. That's where she met Joe. And then he fo- he followed up with like, you know, where she worked and, and, and found her there. He would come in and he would buy champagne and he would shower her. That's, that's what you did. To fight for a girl, you bought them champagne because it's like how much money you're bringing in. You know, it looked good. It made you look good. It got you more days to work. And um, and then the showers were you making your money. So it's $100 in about two, two seconds. So he gets a $100 bill or he could make it 500 or he could make whatever. But And then they get the singles. So Angelo will go get the singles. And then he hands them to the to joe or whoever else is and they say sarah melissa shower time get on the stage she gets on the stage she lays on the stage and then they shoot it out like a hundred singles and then you got to collect your singles put them in a bag that's why on the show when angelo goes on and she he goes melissa and she turns her head like angelo she must have gone up to a hundred times every single night for two years to the look on her face when she sees him. Did you see? What? Wait, wait, wait. So she had to lay down on the stage. She wasn't just standing up. And also like, what was she wearing at this point? She's wearing just a thong and a top. So, right. Well, I mean, was there pressure? Like, like you said, like, was, you know, was Angelo and the managers, did they say like, as a stripper, you have to go out, like, you know, bring the guys in, come on. Like, I mean, obviously, like, was there that competition pressure? Like, did she try to bring in these? It sounds like, she tried she to bring to. in guys that like she yeah. that might have an interest in her. Not only that, but like that's what she was looking for too, because it, it was more of a dating scene for her, you know. But um, I believe she always used to tell people that she was a kindergarten teacher, trying to be a kindergarten teacher. That's what she would tell everybody. And she yeah, really no. just what right from day one said, yeah, "I'm here no, to like no. date oh. and find a husband." I'm a little bipolar, but the question you asked before, <laughs> uh, the reason why she doesn't say anything is because of his parents. Yeah, that was the that was the reason she's always stuck to it. And I mean, and they're not here now, you know, uh, sorry to hear that, that they both passed away. But, you know, I, it's like, you know, they're not even here now. So, I mean, it's like, why are you ever going to tell the truth? Or are you just going to just, you know, then she shouldn't be on a show. And you think she what? She denied this from the beginning just because of Joe's parents? Yeah, everybody knew that. Everybody knew that. She just didn't want them to know she was. No, stripper. they're old school. You know, she wanted to be a pro. I mean, Joe's because he's a good catch. Okay, a good catch. A good catch, Joe Gorga. But listen, she had another guy at the bar or something. Like, that's what you were telling me, like, offline. So, like, tell me about that. Like, the other guy at the bar, like, someone else was fighting for her. 
just a, another I don't, I don't know much about like i said i was there to make money so i, I wasn't concentrating on that i just know that she that's something you gotta ask joe knows because he knows she would pay you know when you tip your djs you you let them play the song you get them to play the songs that you want when you go up and do the things that you want them to do hide the things that you know and joe knows was her a scapegoat so he was tipped all the time to hide her if this guy was coming in or so he knows a lot more about the customers than her because i don't want i i don't know i'm not going to give an answer that i really don't know well i was going to say so like when you weren't up on so the, the stripper goes up on the stage to strip mm-hmm. and by the way again i there's nothing there's nothing no wrong. shade to this i'm not just we'll get to the, all the lies i mean and all that but so like when you weren't on the stage stripping like were you then like was it table service were you a waitress or you just kind of waited for no, your you, on stage? You which, which which customer which usually it's the ones with champagne so then you gotta if you got two guys that bought champagne for you you gotta break up that time because you have uh three songs that you're up uh 20 minutes left money and then about a half an hour to 45 minutes with sitting. You got to split that 45 minutes, you know, with the customers, like who, or what's your best, who's going to make the most money for the club. There's things you got to think about too, because you want, you want the club to be happy with you also. And lookers there at now there is, but I heard it got a little raunchy, <laughs> but uh, there was no lap dances or anything. So it's like, it's when I tell you there's, she did nothing wrong. Like she, the girls were so pretty that guys just wanted to come in. Most of the guys went there to turn those girls into their girlfriend, to, turn those yeah dancers into their girlfriends Staten Island North Jersey Brooklyn you know what I mean and they 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 came there dressed up and these guys had money so it was known like if you get a job at lookers like these guys with money are coming and whether they're young or old to really kind of find a girlfriend or a wife or whatever and that was a great gig to have if you wanted Mm -hmm. a guy with money yeah what so when you were at these tables when you weren't up and you weren't doing lap dances what like you just were supposed to like talk to the guys flirt you know and then would they give you money like you know say I bought someone yeah. the champagne and you're now spending time with me when you're ready to go up on stage I say hey here here's 20 because you chatted with me no, for seven like minutes. 200 you're getting 200 to sit there basically there here's a 20 as you're talking they'll still stuff here's 20 here's the 20 here's another 20 and you you're know. making you're like showing like your breasts like what they, yeah, shove, they like, shove the money like in your this, or you know you know you're you're you know, or you're not because the guy really likes you and wants you to just sit there, which most of the time that wasn't the case. But, you know, like maybe Joe Gorga was like I said, I didn't stare at her. I was there to make money. Um, I just know who was in there to see her. Um, I wasn't staring at her the whole time she was there, you know. <laughs> um, so wait, so she wore because so why? What did Melissa wear? So she never took off her top. Right. No, none of us did. We were not allowed. You're not allowed when when it's when it's go go. It's not. It's a, and that's why you had to be so hot because if we're gonna go in to see a girl that's gonna wear that to the beach, why are we going to this club? You know what I mean? Because they're gorgeous. The girls were gorgeous. And like when they gave you the money, like where would they put it? Like would they put it like down your g string, like in your between your breasts, or like whatever? Like how would you take the money from them? When you're when you're behind the bar and the. Cu- 